hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to create your bulk url shortener using google app script so if you see here i have a two sheet one is a config and another one is a bulk url shortener and in this sheet i have two column long url and short url all my long url that i want to shorten i have put that on column a and uh, shorten link will get populated on column b so still now we are not at start with scripting let's see how to do that and let before that i will show you a config tab if you see here i put the ap key here on b1 and i'm going to fetch the ap key i'm using an app called up shorty to uh, shorten the url i have given a link in the description you can get your ap key free ap key by clicking on the link and once you created your ap key you can put that on the cell b1 and just follow me along with the tutorial so that's it we have everything we have an ap key and we have an url a uh, list of url that we want to shorten and it's time to shorten the url go to tools and script editor let's name this project as shorten url and i'm going to create an object uh, for this two sheet let's name this as config for uh, the config sheet use git active spreadsheet and get sheet by name and give the sheet name here so our sheet sheet name is a config and put that here so do the same uh, for bulk url shortness sheet Let's name that as a bulk sheet and this sheet name should goes here. That's it. Now we have created an object for this two sheet. Now it's time to create a method for shorten the URL. Let's name this method as get shorten URL and this method is going to accept one URL at a time. I'm going to create an argument called a long URL and this method should return short URL. So this is the expectation for this method and inside this function we are going to write a logic to make an API call for the given URL and get the response and parse the response to get our shortened URL. So the API URL is I'm going to take uh, this uh, API URL from a uh, postman and this is the API URL it's like api.shorty.st v1 slash data slash URL and it accept header so I'm going to create header variable and in the header it's accept a key called public api token and this is where you need to pass your api key so now we have uh, api key on the sheet config now let me create a variable called api key and i'm going to get the api key using this config sheet config sheet dot get range it's on the first row and on the second column dot get value so now this variable ap key contain the value of my ap key in cell b1 so i'm going to put that here so now my header is ready and i need to create some options for this api so if you want to uh, learn more about uh, how, how this REST API work, uh, you can check that out in the uh, developer guide for this uh, Shorty app. So that I have given a link uh, in the description you can find there. So in the options, you need to pass header. And we have already created the header. So I'm going to use that one. And you have to specify the method we are going to make a put request because of this one needs a put request as per the api docs and we are going to 
put the payload on the body and this payload accept a parameter called URL to shorten uh, so this is the parameter it's going to accept let's put that in quotes colon and here uh, you need to pass the long URL that you want to shorten so I'm going to get that from here that's it so now we have an options uh, and we have a header and the URL now it's time to call API so let me create a variable called content text I'm going to get the content from the uh, API after making a put request so to make put request you have to use a class fetch app dot fetch which accept two things URL and params so we have already created a params and the name is option and in the URL you have to pass our API URL that's it now we have to get the response in the form of content text so now we got the response and response should be something like this status is okay and the shortened URL is like this so now we have to pass the response because we don't want all other things like status or something we need only this one so to get this one I'm going to use uh, the object name shortened URL so let me uh, have created a variable resp and I'm going to use a JSON parser because the content text is a JSON format so I can once I pass that I can fetch whatever object value I want using the dot notation so it will parse the JSON now if I put the shortened URL inside the JSON dot pass method so now it's time to fetch the shortened URL let's create a variable called short URL because that's what we are going to return and that's equal to from the response I'm going to get I, I, I need only this shortened URL that's it so dot the object name so now this short URL contain the shortened URL so if you want to test that let me create a variable called long URL and I'm going to take a lengthy URL or long URL from the sheet and put that let's do a testing and let me add log statement and print the short URL and see how it works so when you are running this for the very first time you need to give an authorization click on advanced and go to URL short and save click on allow So instead of shortened URL, it's saying that shortened URL is not defined because I want to pass the content text, not shortened URL. Let's execute that once again. Go to view logs. So in the logs, you can see the shortened URL. That's it. Now it's working fine. Uh, whatever the long URL that we pass to this method is shortened now. So we don't need this one because it, it will be like act as a hot coded value and it will try to shorten only this long URL so I'm going to delete this one to make it dynamic so now we have uh, created a method now we have to create an, uh, another method where we have to get all this long URL and pass the value one by one and get the response from this function so I'm going to call the method as uh, master let's say So in the master method, I need uh, one input called num rows, the number of rows in the bulk URL shortener. Because once I get the number of rows, I can uh, use that to get the range of this long URL. So to get the number of rows, you can use the object name bulk sheet dot get last row. So it returns the number of rows in the sheet bulk URL shortener. Now it's uh, 
time to uh, make a looping so let's see how to do that I will create a variable uh, called uh, uh, long URL list and in this variable I'm going to assign a range and the range is from a2 to a60 so this is the range uh, I'm going to assign to this long URL list so we have already created a bulk sheet we can use that and we can use a method called get range and in the get range I want to use the third one uh, because uh, I have to specify the start uh, cell of the range and uh, number of rows and number of columns so the starting row is from the row 2 so I've put 2 and column is from first column so I have to mention 1 and the number of rows we have already identified the number of rows using that method so it will be passed here and the number of column is 1 because we want to get the range from the very first column so now we got everything and we have to use one more method called get values which return an array of array so that's it now we have created a range and uh, le let me show you how the range is going to be get stored in the variable it will get stored in array of array format so if I print that one if you see here it's stored in array of array there is a uh, one uh, parent array and inside the parent array uh, there is a child array so inside the child array each URL goes in so this is another child array and this is another child array and if you see at the very last you can see an empty uh, array it is because uh, the number of rows is uh, uh, it's going to return 60 but we start the range from the second row so in order to compensate you have to put num rows minus one now we are not getting the empty row and we will get only this portion in the form of array of array so this is the one thing that you need to make a note of because we are not just getting an array which contain list we are getting an array and inside the array we are getting a list which is stored inside another array so that's the one thing which we need to consider when we are doing a loop so I'm going to use a map method here to uh, make it more faster so let's create one more variable called get short URL list and this short URL list I'm going to get the array of array in the same format as how we got the long URL list but the only difference is in the get short URL list I'm going to store the shortened URL for all the long URL let's see how to do that so I'm going to use this variable and on top of that I'm going to use a method map for iteration and this map accept a function and it return a value so each URL will goes to this E and it will do the logic whatever we put inside the function and return the value so now we have to return let's say E and here we are going to return the shorten URL for each long URL but as I mentioned earlier we are getting an array of array so we have to go inside an another array so to do that I am using a one more map and this map works in the same way it accept function and here you can return whatever you want so I have entered inside an array and if I use this method for return 
then I have to pass the long URL. So since we are going inside array of array, we can just put this element variable so that it will get the long URL and pass it to this short URL method and it will automatically call this get short on URL. So just to make some difference, I'm going to change uh, the variable name from E to S and I'm going to put S here. So when you're looking at this for a very first time, it may look complicated, but uh, if you have a clear understanding on how map works, then it's quite easy for you. So that's it. Now we have created a map of map and which is going to return an array of array which contain shortened URL. So now it's time to populate this shortened URL on the column B. Let's see how to do that. It's so simple. Uh, you have to use the bulk sheet and uh, let's get range. And in the get range, uh, again, we have to use this one and the row starting row is two and the column is not one because we want this shorten url to get populated on the second column so it should be two and num row minus one so similar to this one and number of column is one and here you need to set values you should not use set value you should use set values because we are getting an array of array and we are going to pass this get short url list that's it now if you execute uh, this master function it should display the short url so if you see here we got all the shortened url for the given long url and that's it for this video if you have any doubt drop your doubts in the comment section i will get back to you if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye